What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and this is my 2000th review, and it is of the 3-0 Evangelion EVA 001. This is in the robo do line, which we have a little experience with here, uh, but I had this one before any of the ones we've done this year. Uh, I've had this one since it came out, <laughs> I just never got around to reviewing it, but review number 2000, it's pretty special, and I had to do something special. So out of the backlog it comes. It's not going to be top secret anymore. We're going to get right into the heart of Nerve and uh, go over this amazing, amazing uh, figure. And that's the window. That's the art on that side. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. As always, you get this really awesome uh, booklet, Evangelion, new theatrical version, Evangelion test type 01. And you get all the notes you might need, how things move, where things go, everything in full, beautiful color. So it's a great booklet, as always. So first up, let's, uh, well, second up, um, this comes with a stand that you have to put together a little bit. The little action stand, pop those two together, and then this you're gonna pop into here. So you have a nice little handy dandy little stand, which I may or may not have put out right. I think I did. Uh, and then that opens and closes. That is pretty awesome. Of course, you're gonna need a figure for that stand. So <laughs> let's bring in uh, Eva 001 now. Uh, and there you go, for the first time out of the package. Well, not the first time. I did have an unboxing of this, uh, I'm sure, at some point. And I think that's all I had. I don't know if it was part of a haul video, but it was definitely something. So this is going to go into her back. There's a hole right there. You're going to want to raise that. And that'll plug her in to the stand. Definitely going to want to adjust a little bit to get her on the stand. Let's see if we can do that first. Is this? Oh, okay. You're going to have to. There is ratchets here. I'm sure they move, but maybe they don't. But there we go. Now it is attached a heck of a lot better. So it's a pretty cool stand. Nice material. Nice plastic material. Feels good. So, excellent stuff there. Oh, but I failed to mention that you could attach the umbilical cable to the bottom here. Because that's what really this is supposed to represent, is that. But in a stand, which I think is pretty ingenious. We also do get the actual little plug-in, which looks cool. It has some brown paint on it. Uh, this, you know, you can do the same thing. Put the umbilical cord in there. There's also some yellow here. It's cool. Uh, and then you just pop this in to the proper slots. And uh, there you go with that. We also get a plethora of hands, which look awesome. And this beautiful, beautiful purple, man. It looks so, so good, guys. Check that out, man. Great, great stuff. A lot of paint on these hands. Very expressive. You got trigger hands, you got other holding hands, you got splayed out hands, fist hands, really, really nice paint. You got some oranges on there, some grays, some nice like black panel lines. Really, this is these are beautiful hands. And for those hands, first up we have the amazing palette rifle and I put the trigger figure on there. It looks amazing. The sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. You got a lot of awesome paint here, that military green, the silver here looks incredible. You got that orange there. Beautiful, beautiful stuff here. This looks phenomenal. And of course, to put it in the hand, I want to pop out that. <laughs> oh, no, you're not going to want to pop out that because that was the entire joint. So don't, don't do that. And a little heat later, and uh, we're back in business. Uh, but yeah, it is awesome, you know. 
put in their hands, and uh, you're good to go. Let's rock! rock! We also get the palette knife, which looks really nice as well. Check that out. Got some gunmetal silver there, some black. Really nice sculpt throughout. Very, very nicely done. Always dug that. And if you want to recreate the scene where it uh, comes out of her shoulder, you could do that. It comes with an extra shoulder. You just pop it in at the little ball joint there. Then you get the knife holstered here. So you put it, I believe, like this. There's a little notch up here, so I think it goes like this, actually. Like so. So then, you know, she can reach up and uh, grab that. Kind of. <laughs> well, you get it, you know. You could uh, do something like that where it's coming out and uh, you're, she's about to grab it. I, I think that's really cool. We also get two entry plugs. You get a short one and a longer one. Both painted really, really nice. If you could see it, they, they are. Very, very cool. And uh, you can open up a little latch on her back. And uh, you can pop one in. There's a little slot there. Does it pull back? Yeah, it does. It goes back. And then you pop it in there. The one it you know, comes up, it pops up too. You see that? That's pretty cool. I, I really dig that. That's a really neat little engineering trick. So before we get to looking at this guy in full, I did want to mention that this is sort of like a cockpit type deal here too. This this whole piece comes out, but um, I don't know if it's supposed to come out, but uh, that's basically what this is in there. So that, that's kind of cool. And last but certainly, certainly not least, we uh, get an extra head for Awaken Mode or Berserk Mode. Um, this is cool. You can see the back there. Uh, if you want to focus, see the back there. Looks pretty awesome. The eyes look really good. With the green on the sides, the mouth. Focus, focus on this. You know what? You go away. You go away. We don't need you right now. You need all the focus on this beautiful head, which is screaming, of course. You see the teeth. Now, this one does not articulate the mouth. Uh, the other one does, but it does look really, really awesome. Like, beautiful sculpt all around. Beautiful paint. This is ugly and gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? This is amazing. And here it is on, and that's, uh, you know, that's sufficiently creepy. <laughs> no doubt about it. And so while we're moving this guy around, let's move it around completely and show you articulation. The mouth does open, which is cool. The head moves on a ball joint, and you can pop off the little horn, which is popping off on me a bit, I must say. But just to show you, it is on a little clip. See that? It clips in. So you just want to... Pop it in the right spot. I don't know if I clipped it in completely. And that that's that's the problem. I don't know if I clipped it in completely. But the body moves nicely. Moving on. Um, then you go side to side decently. And you have some rotation in there. The shoulders, these things do move. And the shoulders can move out and forward. And uh, it's on a whole assembly here. So it's like a butterfly joint pretty cool swivel as well up at the shoulder then you got the double jointed elbows which is nice and then you got the hinges at the hands and rotates there the legs do if you just avoid hitting that you could get that much and then you kick forward you can go back you have rotation in there you have a double jointed knee uh, and then the feet have an amazing, amazing rocker. Feels so good. Uh, this moves around as well. So yeah. This uh, EVA 01. She's got a lot of articulation. It's pretty awesome. This figure is uh, not just, you know, the articulation is awesome. But 
it feels amazing. It is so heavy. There's so much die cast in this one. Um, there's die cast in the arms. There's die cast in, in the legs. You know, it's heavy. Uh, I don't know if there's any in the body, but I think the Robo Do stuff have uh, the skeletons, which are. Man, it just feels so good, guys. There's like cold feeling, and then like nothing is loose. Everything is just like nice and tight. Um, it's pretty awesome. Oh, these move, by the way. I don't know if I showed that before. But um, yeah, this is an incredible feeling uh, figure. And if you love diecast, definitely uh, you're going to love this. If, if you don't already love it. I, this, this, this figure's been out a little now. All right, now we're going to look at it in full. And uh, she looks amazing. She really does. This head sculpt is super, super good. Really like it a lot. You see the mouth inside looks very nice. And then the teeth. Metallic teeth. And the sides here look incredible. Really awesome sculpt. Love the paint. The horn, as we discussed. It's a little bit annoying, but it's it's really nicely painted. The whole head looks really good. The back of the head looks awesome. There's paint in there as well. The back here. All of this is sculpted beautifully. See the green paint on the inside of that and then the back here you got some gun metal over here you got this thing in uh brown which looks really good oh that arm i just pulled the arm out <gasps> uh, oh my gosh how embarrassing uh and then uh the gun metal down the spine looks awesome the purples and stuff look great got some black in here and then the, some black lines in here as well looks awesome in all the little little cracks and crevices you got a little a lot of little uh holes um which look really really good some of them look like you know intended to look like there's die cast coming out of it but um it's not you got the uh that part here which is well done uh the whole front here looks amazing the greens and the purples and the blacks and the gun metals all work really superbly you got some red in there. You got that yellow neck, which looks great. Some black on the side of that. The shoulder pauldrons here look amazing. I really like them a lot. That looks really good. Again, beautifully painted. Evangelion 001 test type on the side here of the arms. And on the inside as well. Beautifully printed there. These hands are gorgeous as well. I love... Because, you know, these spiky things on the back, I don't remember what they are, but um, they look really good on both sides. Paint is impeccable. The legs look incredible. The purple and black knees, as we saw before, they look really good. The bottom of the legs, awesome, awesome sculpt. I love how everything looks, man. Again, all these little rivets just are made to look like they're actually functional. Um, and then this... Part looks fantastic. The whole foot is amazing. Amazing. Oh, the foot articulates. I did forget something. The foot articulates. My apologies. But yeah, there it is. Really good. Beautiful on the bottom of the feet. So all in all, guys, this figure just looks incredible. Probably... The most gorgeous Evangelion figure uh, that I have in the collection now. I mean, it's been in the collection, but uh, it's been in this box is where it's been in in my backlog. And um, I'm so happy to have gotten it out for this special occasion. Because uh, now I got to reset up my Evangelion shelf anyway. Now that's breaking little seal. We got some other Evangelions that are quite awesome as well. In the backlog uh, that I hope to get to at some point soon. But uh, this figure just looks so good. Proportions are excellent. It's amazing. Again, I'm really, really happy to be featuring it for my 2000 review. And one last gimmick is uh, she glows. A glow-in-the-dark gimmick for Eva 01. All the green parts glow. That is very, very cool. Super dig that.
And for your size comparison, here is EVA 01 with a bunch of other 3-0 figures that I have in my collection. So you can see a couple of different lines here, a few different lines. And uh, yeah, it's just a big figure, but it's not as big as uh, the Voltron. But this, this, and this are all in the same line. And just to show you, but oh my god. My uh, Robot Spirits, Eva is a little in shambles, missing a couple parts right now. Uh, and uh, this is this is this is how big that is. Just just so you get an idea. And my final thoughts: I think I made the right decision on what to review for my 2000 review because this figure is phenomenal. I apologize to this figure, two three zero even, that uh, you know when I did get it, I didn't get a chance to review it because. This would have been very high on my tops of the year. Did it come out? I believe it came out in 2021. Um, very, very high. I don't know how high, but really high. It is that good. You know, uh, it is. Uh, I just, you know, I get too much sometimes and I, it just happens. You know, that's how a backlog gets created, unfortunately. Um but yeah, it's amazing, and I'm glad uh, to have reviewed it. I love EVA 01. It's one of my favorite mechas, and, um, you know, they, I've reviewed a lot of EVA 01s, and yet I still have a lot to review, and I hope to get to them. Um, as far as 3.0 goes and my backlog, I do have one other thing uh, there, and it's another big, big figure that I also hope to get to soon, but... You know, it's uh, it's a little bit here and a little bit there. Some new, some old, and, uh, you know, we keep on going and keep things interesting, guys. But this figure is amazing. Thanks to everyone that's watched any of my reviews from number one to number 2,000. It's uh, been incredible. I uh, hope you're digging them, you know. Like, let's, let's keep it going and uh, have some fun while we're at it. Thanks again. Till next time. Peace out, people.